for years, companies have been deploying corporate directories, typically Active Directory, to centralize access to any sensitive app. Uh, but those apps do have local accounts. Uh, the idea is not to use those. I want to make sure that people perform a, a, a dance into oh, my Active Directory. They get the ticket that allows them to go into the application. I have roles defined and all the access is controlled right here. I don't want anyone to access applications with controls that are defined here instead. Now, shadow access is a phenomenon that happens more often than, than, uh, than people realize in which a local account is actually used to gain access to an application here or there or whatever it is and no activity from the Active Directory for that specific user took place. Huh. It, this can also happen when companies have legacy directories or IDPs. In fact, when companies migrate from one IDP to another, they may stay for years with two, sometimes even three IDP systems lingering around. Uh, how, how do you typically detect the, this type of uh, condition? Well, one answer is to do pen testing, and that's what companies do hire, you know, every year, every six months, or whatever, uh, pen testers, and, and many, you know, insurance companies uh, force uh, people to do that, to make sure that they check these things, and that's what he will do. He will try to gain access with a local account and see what, what is l lingering in the system that is legacy, and they will try to exploit that. The problem is that you cannot rely on, only on a pen testing because you cannot do pen testing every month or every week. Or, or. The other alternative is to tap into your SIEM and say, well, can I detect this with my SIEM system? And the answer is, uh, even if you could, performing some convoluted rules and queries and stuff that would be tremendously false positive prone, uh, the, the answer is in most cases you will not because with an S SIM can tell you this happens here, this happens there, that happened there, uh, this happened here, but what they cannot tell you is what did not happen. Because SIMs are not stateful machine, they, they collect all the logs and they, they you know, they, they process the rules against all those laws, but they cannot tell you, well, these things did not happen. Like, of course, you can always create tables, launch counters, and do some add-ons to your SIM, but again, they're going to be very convoluted, and your SOC people are actually very busy just running the system with the rules and, and things that the SIM can, can easily do. Now, let me show you how VIP can detect this. And in this demo environment, which is very simple, uh, we're going to be, this actually happens in a, in a Google GCP environment, we're going to show that by only using syslogs from my OpenVPN VPN instance, PPC flow logs from the Google GCP environment, and AD corporate logs. We're not getting anything else. We're not going to get logs from here or from an EDR from the end user, only those three log sources. I'm here on the admin tab of the VIP application, and we can see that we have both logs and flows from Active Directory. We have VPN, uh, OpenVPN syslog, no flows from it, and we get Google GCP VPN. PPC flow logs. Here on the left, we can see the definitions that we have. This is the Active Directory system that we are using. Um, if we go here under the VPN, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the one uh, that 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 we define in there uh, for that. Now, the tool comes with a set of playbooks in which there are rules 
that detects this type of anomalies. Let's search for the word shadow in here. Let me see all the rules that have uh, worked with that. And then we have shadow access, which is what we are going to be showing. And in fact, this is the last 72 hours. The event that I have is much older than that. That's what is not showing here. But you have uh, shadow external assets, and this is a typical cast beam which you, you go into into applications that 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 you don't know that you um, exist. Uh, same thing with shadow assets, and you have legacy authentication systems. Let's say that my previous IDP or uh, parts of it is still uh, lingering around. So those are the, the rules on shadow access. And with that, the tool was able to detect a shadow access. Let me show you that one. So this is an incident in which the shadow access rule trigger. And this is the user. This is the application that, that he access. This is the, uh, the, 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 the log sources, the, 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 the syslog and the BPC flow logs. And the beauty of this is that if we click here on the more details, we can see a JSON structure that contains all the data that has been stitched together coming from those three log sources in a single entity. In fact, let me actually show you this, the whole thing in VB Edit, which I think can be seen better. We can see all that data, the timestamps, the destination IP, source IP, the name of, of the app, you know, all the different components. And this is a treasure that can be used by your SOC people to really understand the full scope of, all, of these things, or even by your SIM to parse this data and further investigate the scope of the actual incident. In fact, from that information, I went ahead and, you know, updated the information. This is the, the, the user that we saw in there. This is the source IP, destination IP. Uh, you know, these are the, uh, the IDs of the corporate active directory. And the beauty of this tool is that it was able to see, well, I saw that, that this happened and this happened, but in the last 15 minutes, I did not see any logs or flows from my active directory for this specific user. So, well, therefore, it was uh, circumvented by pass. It, that, that's an example of, uh, of shadow access. And this is not just for shadow access detection. This is the main dashboard of the tool. We, we see that it's collecting flows in here. And we have three main areas. Uh, this is uh, gaps in your infrastructure. Let's take a look at the, the things that it, you can detect in here. Well, lack of MFA or MFA not configure. Uh, you know, attacks on, a, on, a, on your IDP. Password spray attacks. I mean, yes. Can you detect some of these with your SIM? Yeah, there's some overlap, but there are some very unique things that you can only do with this technology here, like detecting those uh, bypasses or MFA. Uh, because again, these are things that did not happen, and your SIM cannot see those. We can see here, and this is the area where we are on the shadow access blind spot that you may actually have, and we already saw some of those shadow uh, rules uh, in there. And finally, misconfigurations like, you know, that, that can happen, that bypassing uh, uh, PAM or CTNA, those are very important. Again, things that did not happen. You did not go through your privilege access monitoring tool to get access to this application. Oh, I mean, that, that, that's something that is worth investigating. Some of these things, you know, access to uh, out, unauthorized countries, yeah, you can get those through your SIEM, but there's some overlap. But again, many unique things that this technology can uh, complement your identity uh, efforts and the company as well as your uh, your SOC people. That structure that is generated, that JSON uh, file that it gets created with every opportunity, again, is golden for your SOCs and SOAR people to continue the investigation.